agreement mean for Irish people who are out of work right now? Well, obviously, you've got to get the negotiations formally underway. The potential is enormous. We would see um, several thousand jobs for Ireland coming out of this. The, uh, um, the assumption is that you could grow trade by 68 to 100 billion over a period once the negotiations would be concluded. So now that leadership has been given here, now that the presidency under Ireland's chairmanship has got the mandate, we want uh, now to work on the agreement that we had today, both America and Europe, uh, to start the negotiations formally in Washington in three to four weeks' time and move on with it. And let's hope that inside two, two and a half years, this matter can be concluded uh, to the benefit of the United States and the benefits uh, of Europe. Remember that inside a decade, 90% of world trade will be outside the borders of the European Union. These are currently the two greatest trading blocks on the planet, and there is absolutely no reason why there shouldn't be a free trade agreement between these two continents. Is this your, your favourite part of the presidency, this, this uh, EU free trade agreement? It's coming to the end. What's your, well, most, it's a, it's what's your a best very, moment? It has been a very big issue in terms of the priorities that we set, and I'm very happy that it's been concluded with the mandate approved. But also the MFF, the Multiannual Financial Framework from 2014 to 2020, is another big issue. But I have to say that the public servants both in Brussels and in all departments in Dublin have worked exceptionally hard to get very sizable files across the line, many of whom we were told just couldn't happen, and some of which have been lying around for four to five years, and they've been concluded under this presidency. It's not over yet. And we have a number of other issues that we need to focus on, uh, and I hope we'll have a very productive report to give to the European Parliament early in July. Thanks, folks.